your your palate's getting sharper and it's sharper. It's like muscle memory, but palate memory. Yes. Interesting. I love, so you know, when Andre, we put the fennel in ice water, it gets it nice and crisp and kind of siphons it up, which makes it look like that. Yeah. What a beautiful dish. Here I got a little bit of wild uh, dill flour. Right. Because that, that goes really well with um, with a needle fish. It's beautiful. Yeah, and it smells so incredible. So this isn't quite what, how you would do this at home. You wouldn't make a dish, or, or would you for your, your beautiful wife, Pam? Would you do this sometimes? Uh, no, basically she cooks at home. She cooks at home? I don't. I, well, she's Thai, so obviously she knows how to cook. Yeah, I don't cook at home. She was, she was telling me she'd rather rather be a chef than work the front of house. <laughs> <laughs> the grass yes. is always greener. There you go. That's true art, chef. That's beautiful. All right, it's my turn to cook. Yes. All right, chef. Now I'm going to make you kind of this king prong sweet and sour mango dish, if I may. All right. So if I could give you the shrimp, uh, okay. if you want to prep, I've already got three prep, but just one needs to be deveined. You got to take the vein out of the shrimp. Um, I'm going to just start a pan with, just like chef did, with a little bit of banana shallot, which is just a fantastic garlicky onion, if you would. And, uh, but I don't need to do fine brunoise. I'm just going to do sliced shallots. What's your favorite way of eating seafood? Of all the wet methods that... As fresh as it is. Right. Yeah. Sashimi. Sashimi or, or I, uh, I, I like to cure fish or seafood. So we use a lot of cured um, right. uh, process. Cure meaning salt or cure like ceviche with... Uh, anyway. With, anyway? Yeah. All right, now if you don't mind, I'll give These you... Done. We have Thank you, we have two mangoes here. We have the, a sweeter mango than a sour mango, right? That's right. So if you could peel those for me, chef, and then we'll just... Um, um, just, a, just a rough dice would be fine. All right. And I'm going to get these shallots going. All right, now this is, the, uh, this is the young ginger, baby ginger, and basically just the bulb. So I'm going to kind of take a couple of slices this way just to get some small pieces. So then when I cut through it, again, just rough chop. This, it's very floral, right, this, uh, this ginger. Yes. It's not, it's, it's not nearly as, uh, as strong as um, a little bit of this in there as well. All right. Then I'm going to add, um, so this is kind of my Southeast Asian interpretation. Now, Chef, what was this called again? Uh, gratin. Gratin. Yes. Gratin, guys. Oh, my God. It smells like garlic, right? But, yeah. But different. Like, a, I don't know. I don't want to say soapy garlic, but it's. But you said to eat it with raw oysters? Yes, that goes very well. I'm surprised that you picked that ingredient though. Well, I, you know, I just picked it up and it smelled it. I'm like, oh my God, that is such an intense, intense smell. I had to use it. Now I'm gonna do just a little bit of red and green chili. Yeah. You, you like heat? I do. So the heat is really in the seeds, in the pith. We'll add those in. All right. Hey, is the dice okay? Ah, it's perfect. Yeah. You like that? All right. Smells Just good. Just a touch more oil. It's getting there. We'll add the shrimp in. And then maybe, Chef, if you want, if you want to just, uh, I guess just juice that. That should be fine. Yeah. We'll add the mango. So this mango is really tart, right? It's green, right? Unripe. All right. So. Because of that, you then need a little bit of sugar, because um, you don't, you really don't want, it would be way too tart if we just went straight to this green mango. And uh, I'll do a little lemongrass, Chef. I love lemongrass. Mm. Uh, lemongrass, again, is a root, so it's very hard. Mm. And we're just going to go I can break it down. I can pick some of the gratin for you. Oh, yeah? OK. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. And I'm just going just a little bit. But lemongrass, you have to be really careful with because it it's so fibrous. You have to really get the, the younger one and you gotta make sure, and I cut a little of the stem there too close. And that's really tough, so. 
This I want to really mince. So are you, uh, are you as fond of doing pastries as well as, as savory? Yes. Well, we, we do everything here. I do a bit of everything. All right. This is looking, so now we're going to add just a touch of fish sauce. Fish sauce is so pungent. So a couple drops. It's all you need. And then a little bit of chicken stock just to help soften the mango and kind of poach, poach the shrimp. All right, so touch your lemon juice and then we're just gonna need this, let this reduce. It's gonna take about two minutes and we'll be able to plate it up. All right, so we're not gonna multi over, but just a little touch of butter just to smooth it out. Let's give this a taste. Mm. All right, take this up here. Simple plate up. It smells like really this. good. La chance, chef, la chance. <laughs> All right, like that. A little bit of the mango. I love the, the combination of two different mangoes, right? One really yes. sour. All right, if you garnish chef there, we're good. Right? We're not gonna put too much because it's yeah, really punchy. Stuff. All right, nice. there we go. We have king prawns with double mango stir fry. Chefs, pleasure. Can we go eat and drink a little wine now? Yes, let's go. Awesome. So, Chef, cheers to you. Cheers. What, what wine is this? Uh, Prefumé from Caille Bourdin. It's Super. a very small producer. Awesome. Yeah. Santé. Santé. And you only serve biodynamic wines in this restaurant, correct? Yes, biodynamic wine, natural wines. Uh, why is that? Uh, I feel that there are a lot of nice um, artisan producers that are not, not a lot of people know. Yeah. There's a lot. I love that, that new spice that, that you turned me on to, wow. the new herb. Oh, it's good. You get a little bit of kick of it, huh? Yeah, a little Thai bird. A little chili at the end. I don't know, Chef, your dish is awesome. It, it truly is an art. And, and even this table, right? You made this table. Yes. Was there anything you do? You make your light bulbs? Mm. You buy those. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> All right. Chef, listen to you. Thank you so much for showing me that Singapore, you guys are on the map, world class restaurants. Thank you. And you're a world class chef. Appreciate it. And all you out there, thanks for watching. And as always, peace and good eating. Cheers. For more information on Simply Ming, including upcoming guests and more, visit us online at ming.com slash simplyming. Funding for Simply Ming is provided by Ocean Spray. For over 75 years, our grower owners have been harvesting cranberries to bring you and your family products like craisins, sweet and dried cranberries, a versatile snack that's surprisingly sweet. Ocean Spray, straight from the bog. And by... Tfal's Active Fry. One spoon of oil for two pounds of fries and many other meals. Tfal, ideas you can't live without. And by. Simply caring about the planet. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Subaru of New England, a proud sponsor of Simply Meg. And by. Melissa's World Variety Produce is a proud sponsor of Simply Ming. And by Wen Jishan Soy Sauce. Simply natural, simply organic, simply Ming. The Simply Ming Studio was provided by Clark a New England luxury kitchen and bath resource.
to order the Simply Ming Cookbook, DVD collection of classic Simply Ming episodes, or softcover cookbook featuring recipes from previously aired programs, call 1-800-255-9424.